I sometimes critique Sudoku puzzle publishers. Most of the time, I like the puzzles I've used on this YouTube channel. Once in a while, I find a publisher I don't like very well. So before I get started, I want to say a little more about the Woman's World magazine that I used in the last week's video. Two things about it. First of all, I mentioned that the back broke the first time I opened it. I've solved a few dozen puzzles in the book and the book is now falling apart. The binding is very cheap. Second, in my opinion, the puzzles in the Woman's World book are not very well designed. I don't think they're very interesting. In fact, I've stopped solving them. Therefore, I would not recommend Women's World Sudoku magazines to you. Well, now on to today's puzzle. This is puzzle number 93 from Sudoku to Go, volume 137. And as you've probably noticed, I really like Sudoku to Go magazines because the majority of these videos are, are from them. While solving this puzzle, we hit a hard spot which I'll mention when we get to it. And then we find a combination of techniques to get past it. Later in the puzzle, we'll use a couple of other advanced techniques to get past other rough spots. If you like these videos, please click like and click the red subscribe button. You can also click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on this video and other videos. And thank you for all the comments that you've left in the past. I enjoy reading them. First of all, we'll do a couple of easy ones here. We've got a two here, two here, two there. And we've got a 2, 2, 2, so that's a 2. All right, now we've got a 3, 3, 3, so that's a 3 right there. And we've also got a 2, 2, 2. Now that we've put the 3 in, we can put a 2 there. And 4, 4, a 4 there. And now we've got a 2, 2, 2, 2, so that's a 2 right there. And we can finish, there's only 6 and 9 missing here. With that 6 we can finish box 2 there. Alright, now we've got a 7 here, 7 here, 7 here, so we can put a 7 in there. And uh, I know this is a 4 and this is an 8. This is a little bit tricky, not too bad, but um, we have a 4 here and a 4 here, so one of these is a 4. We have a 4 here, so one of these is a 4. And using double row elimination here, we know that the 4 in box 5 goes here or here. We've got a 4 there, so it has to go here or here. And we've got an 8 right here and an 8 right here so one of these has to be an 8 but let's look at it a little bit closer we've got a 1 and a 6 here and a 1 and a 6 here so these are 1 6 twins and knowing that those are 1 6 twins and by the way these are 8 9 twins because of these 1 6 twins here we know that the 8 has to go here or here and there's an 8 there, so we can put an 8 right there, and a 4 right there. Alright, now, 4 here, 4 here, so that's a 4. And now we've got a 5 here, 5 here. 
and uh, <clears throat> nine here, nine here. So one of these is a nine, but this these can't be a nine because they're one and six. So we just have five and nine left, so we can fill those in. All right. Uh, now we haven't gotten too far yet, but uh, now we've kind of hit a spot and hit that first rough spot that I was talking about. And uh, if you want to, you can pause the video and see if you can figure out um, uh, what the next number is that we can put in. Um, so I'll go ahead and continue now. Uh, one thing that I noticed here, we have a 3 and a 6 here and a 3 and a 6 here. So one of these is a 3 and one of these is a 6. Okay, now we, they're not twins, so we can't really do much with those yet. Um, but we've got a... Uh, in this, in box 5 right here, we've got a situation where we can find a th set of 3, 6 twins also. First of all, we've got a 1 here and a 1 here, so we have ghost ones here. So we know the 1 has to go here, one of these two cells. All right, And we also know that neither of these can be a 6, because we have 1, 6 twins here, and 1 has to go here or here. So neither of these can be a 6. We're, we're using unique rectangles, or the ambiguity rule, to to determine that. Okay, so the 6 has to go here, 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 or here. And if you're not familiar with the ambiguity rule or unique rectangles, go to sudokuprimer.com, look up in the techniques section, and there's a write-up about it there. There's also a pattern section on sudokuprimer.com in case you want to learn more about different patterns. All right, so we know that neither of these can be a uh, six. So we got a, one of these four is a six. What else do we know here? We've got, um, let's look at this cell right here and see what we've got so far. We're missing, uh, it can't be a one. So one of, one of these has to be a one. We have ghost ones there. So this has to be, let's see, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This has to be a three or a six. All right. And let's look at this one right here. Got a one and a two there. So that's a three, four, five, or a six, seven, eight, nine. So we have three six twins here. Because of these three six twins right here, this can't be a 3 or a 6, so we know these 3 6 twins are right here. You remember we had a 3 and a 6 there, a 3 and a 6 there, so one of these had to be a 3, one had to be a 6. Well, now we've found these 3 6 twins, so that can't be a 3 or a 6. All right. So with that information, we can't solve the, the 3 6 twins yet, but that's going to help us because, see, we've got a 9 here, and the 9 can't go... Before we knew these were three six twins, the nine could have gone here, here, or here. But since these are three six twins, we know the nine has to go there. We got a nine there, so we've got a nine right there. All right, and now with that, we know the nine has to go right here because we've got a nine there and a nine there. So these are one nine twins now. We've got a 9 there, so we can put those in. And <clears throat> what do we have left here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 and 5. And we can solve them because of that 5 there. All right, and with this 1, now... We know these are 1, 6 twins. With that 1, we can solve them. All 
All right, and now <clears throat> we've got a. Let's see. Let's look at this column right here. What are we missing? One, two, three, six, eight. Three, six, and eight. That's got to be a six or an eight. Here's a three and a six, so we know that's an eight. That's got to be a six, and that's a three. All right, now because of this three, we can fill in the six of the three six twins that we had there. Now we're only missing one and eight in this row right here. We've got an eight there, so we know that's a one. And the last two numbers are five and seven. We can't solve those, but we can fill in the eight there. All right, now with a little bit of uh, looking here, we can we can put an eight. We got an eight here, eight here, eight here. So that's an eight right there. And now we've got a four here, four there. So that's a four right there. And of course that row is done now. We could have determined that's a four. We've also got a four here and four here, so we know that's a four. All right. <clears throat> now let's see. What are we missing here? We're missing one, two, three, six, nine. Three, six, and nine. We got a three and a six here. Three, six twins. Uh, using the ambiguity rule again, or unique rectangles, since these are three six twins, we know that neither of these can, or I'm sorry, these can't be three six twins, or else we'd have an, amb an ambiguous situation. So one of these two numbers here has to be a different number. It can't be a three, and, these can't be three six twins. One of these could be a three, or one of these could be a six, but we can't have three six twins. What's the other number? It's a nine. So um, we've got a nine here. So we know we know the nine can't go there. So we know this is a nine. This can't be a nine here because of that nine. This can't be a three or a six if this is a three or a six. And these are actually three six twins right here because we don't have nothing else in this row. So we know that is a 9 right there. All right, and now let's see. Can't solve the three sixes yet. All right, now we've got, um, let's see, we've got 5 and 7 here. 8 and 9 right there. Five, seven, eight, nine. We got an 8 here, 8 here, 8. 8, 8, 8. Oh, there's an 8 right there. So we can fill in the 8 and 9 right here now. All right. Okay. Now again, we've got a another um, unique rectangle situation here. We've got five seven twins right here. What are we missing in this column? One two three, five, seven eight nine. So we're missing three five and seven here. Let's see. This can't this can't be a three because we got a three here. So that's going to be a 5 or a 7. So we've got 5, 7 twins right here. We also have 5, 7 twins right here. So we know that can be a 5 or a 7. So what's the only other number that will fit in this box is 3. So we can put a 3 in right there. Okay. All right. And then since these are 5, 7 twins, we can see what these are very quickly. 1, Let's see, one, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one or eight. These are one or eight. We've got an eight there, so we can fill those in. And then we got a one, one, one right there. And we've got a, um, a loner cell right here with the five there, so we can put in a five right there. All right, with this five, we can solve the five sevens that we had in box one here. So that's a seven there, and that's a five. All right. And what are we missing here? Seven, nine. With that seven, we can solve those. All right. Now we've got a six here and a six here. So that is a six right there, because we've got a six there. And by the way, <laughs> I didn't say anything earlier, but this six, these two sixes have already always been here. So we could have seen that this was a six and would have known this was a six rather than um, this or this. So we could have solved this here without the, the three, six, nine, um, unique rectangles that we used. That is a 6 there, so that makes that a 3. And this is a 6, and that's a 3. All right, now we've got 5, 7 twins here, 5, 7 twins here. We have 5, 7 twins here, too. We can see that that's a 7 because of that 5 there. And by the way, this is just this is a nine right there, because the only number left in that column. Now we can solve these five sevens along here. Five, seven, five, seven. All right. Now one of these. What are these here? We got three, five. 3 and 5, so we can easily solve those. There's a 5 there and a 3 there, and we're done. All right. So this wasn't a real, real difficult puzzle, but uh, using some advanced techniques made it pretty easy, pretty easy to solve. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.